Hey homeowners, hope you're having another inspiring day. Once again, this is MF Home TV with me, Phoebe. But before we begin today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell for you to stay updated. More and more people are working remotely from home because of the pandemic. As a result, your office space is found practically everywhere in your home. You do your emails on your bed, Zoom meetings in your dining area, and you have client calls in your living room. I know, marami ang nakaka-relate ito. So I think it's about time to ask yourself, is it the perfect time for you to invest in an actual home space? We're not saying that you should build or renovate a separate room in your house for you to be able to do so, but for you to be more productive and organized in your work, it's right about time to have your own home office even in your bedroom. So ano? Game kayo? Because for today's video, we will be showing you how to add a home office right in your bedroom. Subok nat maaasahan, bagi sa OPC na otahanan. Muranda at matibay talaga, partner sa kinhawa. Mandawe phone na, mandawe phone na. Take a look inside your bedroom from the doorway and determine where will be the perfect area for your semi-permanent workspace. Just some tips. Make sure you place your desk adjacent to your window for natural illumination during the day and not directly facing it. When you place it directly on a window, the sunshine is brighter than your computer screen, making it harder for you to see which will cause eye strain and even fatigue. Once you've found the perfect area or corner for your workspace, you need to determine now what are your work-related items because this is how you'll choose the size and design of your table and best storage solution. Are you just using a laptop or do you have lots of monitors and audio devices? What are the things to be stored? Is it books, documents, devices, and etc.? Will there be a printer? Is a filing cabinet needed? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Now we get to measuring. You must use a pull-push rule for this one. You have to measure the area that is available. Make sure you give enough clearance for moving and walking around. Don't forget to write it down. Do you have the list of your needs and maybe even wants for your home office? Okay, great, because now we go to the exciting part, choosing your furniture. You can visit the nearest Mandawi Foam branch or you can just quickly log in to www.mandawifoam.ph and stay at home. We will link down below in the description box the list of store locations so you can schedule a visit. Here are things to take note when furniture shopping for your office. Furniture with open shelves provide plenty of room for storage and organization of medium to large items with easy access. For small items, you can group them together with a cute organizer or basket to make them less cluttered. Furniture with drawers are perfect for documents, papers, accessories, and tools when you want to keep them private. When you go to Mandawi Foam to find office chairs, make sure you really pause and sit on them for a while to really get to know the feel of your chair on your back and feet. Go to the part that is very important but is often ignored and not prioritized the office chair 
Your office chair will have a huge impact in your health, spine, and productivity. Sitting long hours can hurt your back, especially if your chair doesn't match the height of your table or offers back support. And when you're uncomfortable because of the pain, you won't be able to work as efficient as before. Choose the most comfortable chair that you can find that is ergonomic and with adjustable height. Lastly, there should be a balance between work and life. Add your personal touches to your home office. It can be a photo frame of your family, your pet, your selfies, or even your joa. A plant, a souvenir, something that adds color. It will keep you motivated and inspired while working. Now that's it for our video for today. Hope we have convinced you that it's very essential and important for you to have your own specific workspace. But before we end this video, let's all be thankful and grateful that we still have our jobs and that we're still very much healthy, not only physically, but also emotionally and mentally amidst the challenges. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell for you to stay updated. Make your dream home a reality with Mandawi Phone. Comment of the week. Congratulations to last week's winner! This week's prize!